On this episode of the Insect Hunter, we're going to be doing some aquatic collecting. We're here at a small pond and I'm ready to uh, get a net into the water and uh, sift through that and see if we can find some insect gold. So today, while we're going to be doing some aquatic collecting, I've got a few different tools. I've got a few tubs here which we're going to use. We're going to fill them up with water and then we can empty some of the moss and other things into them so we can see uh, what types of insects are in the moss and stuff. So those will be really helpful for us. You can use a bucket or anything like that. So we'll be using those here in a little bit. I've also got my sweeping net in case we see some dragonflies which are very common around water and uh, there'll be a lot of different types of insects just here surrounding the water as well so I think we'll do a little bit of sweeping too to see what we can find and uh, if we're lucky and we see some dragonflies maybe I'll share some of my tips with you on how to collect dragonflies. And then uh, we've also got this special net, which is an aquatic net, and uh, this net, compared to some of the other ones, they have a much stronger mesh. Like this stuff is like a strong plastic. You'll want to get one of these. I would not recommend using one of those crappy little cheapo fish nets that you buy at the store that are like this big. Like those are not going to work. They're going to rip after like one use. So it's going to be going through moss and other things. And uh, this is a well-built, really strong net but it's not really aerodynamic. It's just built to be very strong and durable, which is great for sifting through moss. So before I get into the water near that area, I'm gonna prepare myself by doing a couple things here. So, uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I know this is looking, gonna look so goofy. First thing, if you're gonna go near the water and like weeds near the water, um, depending on what part of the country you're in, if you're in the United States or in other areas, but common in these parts are chiggers which are very small arachnids which will uh, which will bite you and they kind of inject this fluid into your skin that makes it swell up and get super itchy and they'll uh, they'll feed off of your blood luckily they don't transfer any diseases but they do give you uh, some really annoying itches which can last for months if you keep itching them and messing around with them. I've had them for a really long time before. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take my, uh, I've got long socks and I've got pants. I'm gonna put my uh, pants into my sock. So I've got kind of the Popeye leg here, something, you know, but um, that's gonna hopefully keep the chiggers out a little bit better um, than it would if I just had them uh, underneath the pants. So you want to have long pants and socks, get the Popeye leg, get that all nice and tight in there. Use some bug spray with DEET and just spray that all over there. This is going to help repel the chiggers and maybe repel other people, but luckily I'm in a kind of secluded place so I don't even care. But you guys get to see me in my weird legs for the moment. It's not the most pleasant thing, but yeah. I'm just gonna do the, man, this thing's spraying like upside. Sorry, <laughs> it's like spraying weird or something. It's like bouncing back on my face. As you can see out on the pond, there are definitely some dragonflies out today. So that's gonna be great for us. We should be able to get some uh, while we're collecting today. So we'll, we'll get to the dragonflies here in a minute, but for now, we're gonna do some stuff with the uh, aquatic net. So this is my first load of moss, which I'm dumping into my buckets and I'm sifting through it and looking at things. And speaking of dragonflies, here is a dragonfly juvenile. So uh, I'm pointing it out right now. Right here we have, it looks like uh, what some people call a toe biter. They're also known as giant water bugs. and. You can see him kind of paddling around here. And these insects have two claws, which they use to grab prey with, and then they will stab into the prey with a beak-like mouth that they use to feed on insects. And they'll stab them and then suck out fluids. Now we've got even more. We've got a huge bunch of uh, moss and stuff. I'm just gonna dump this back into here and we'll see what type of insects there are and then we'll kind of pull the moss out again. So let's see if we can 
see all this stuff pretty good here. Okay, so just tip this over upside down and dump her in. Come on. Here's a dragonfly larvae that's trying to get back into the water. Really wants to get back into there. Um, they can't live very long out on the land. So, I mean, he's got to get back in there. So, get in there, dude. And it's kind of fun to watch them move. They can actually, uh, dragonfly larvae can actually, like, suck up water into their gills and then push it out almost like an octopus to give them, like, extra propulsion. So, okay. I'm gonna shake these. Get as good as we can, try and get everything out of there. Big bugs, no whammies, no toe biters in my hand. I guess this is my uh, two bucket system. It's probably not necessary, but. Man. There's definitely a lot of insects uh, that are feeding on these. I'm finding lots of these tadpoles. Look at those tadpoles. Yeah, tadpoles, cool. That's a tadpole, and then the other one is a guppy, I think. Little baby fish. And there's one of those insects that I was talking to you about that's a uh, toe biter guy. Here's some water beetles. Got a lot of energy. He's scared, but if you look at, the, at his back, at the back of his butt, he's got a tiny little bubble. Yeah, that's how they breed some of these insects. Some of them have breathing tubes that they can kind of stick out of the water. Other ones kind of have like hairs that trap bubbles so that when they're underwater they have air. Those water beetles we could actually add to a collection because they're uh, hard bodied. So let's grab one here. There we go, dude. Need to slow down a little. Doing some backflips off my finger. Cool. Little water beetle there. He's really flipping around. He's flipping out, I guess. He's trying to, I guess. But yeah, it's a water beetle. That you could definitely put into a collection. Um, he's a small one. Oh no, that's a that's a toe biter. That one's maybe an adult. I don't know. Let's see. Just a much larger one. I don't want to mess with him. not a super large. Oh shoot, ow shoot, that hurt. Ow shoot. Oh man, that was like a wasp sting. I just got stung by, got bit by this thing. Oh man, that hurts, shoot. Okay, I'm okay. That just really hurt, like that seriously, oh my gosh. That was like a wasp sting times three. Too bad you didn't get to see it. This thing here, this is what I was telling you about. This is a toe biter, ouch. Uh, my finger is just like shaking really hard from the pain. Um, I think, where did he get, did he get me right there? Just right in the middle there. Oh man, that hurt. He's right there, he's moving around. My finger is shaking, because man, that thing was like a, oh, Shoot, that really hurt. That was a really stupid idea to pick that guy up. You got me good, dude. I'm putting you back in there. Shoot. So that's a full grown toe biter. And I guess he bit my finger. I can't even figure out where it's at. I'm not trying to flip you off there. I'm just trying to show where he bit. I can't even tell. My finger is just like shaking right now. Cause that hurt, man. That's a... That's not like a huge species, that's a small species, but that looks like it's an adult, but man, he... Oh man, that really hurt. So he's just kind of stuck in the sand now. I'll try and pick him up and move him. Just want to be very careful about this. Just pick up a bunch of dirt around him. Got him in a lot of dirt and sand right now, so... Keep him occupied. Okay, I've got him in. He's a really fast swimmer, and man, he's a bad boy. Oh, man. That really, really hurt. 
Let's get a zoom in on this bad boy. You are one bad bug. Do not want to mess with you. This is why you need forceps and not a hand. So that was very painful. The pain is gone now, but it's just striking, piercing pain like somebody stuck a, stuck a needle like two or three inches into your skin. That is what they call the toe biter. And like I said, this is a small species. If it was a bigger one, it probably would have hurt much worse. Okay, here's another load of stuff. Let's see, find anything else interesting. Oh man, Mr. Tobiter, you're a bad boy. One of the things with collecting aquatic insects is that depending on what type of like water it is, you'll find different insects. So since this is stagnant water, um, we're finding a certain type of insects. But if this was like a river, we'd find different, totally different insects, which is kind of cool. Got a couple, uh, Depends on where you go, what they call them, water striders, water skippers, water skeeters is what I call them. So far from what I've been doing, the, uh, the moss and stuff that's right on the edge has been the stuff that's had the most insect activity. So uh, the further out you get, I don't know that it's even helping. I'm going out on that dock and not really finding much more than I was just here on these edges. There we go. This is a damselfly nymph. There you go, damselfly nymph. So he's a little different than the dragonfly nymph. Uh, they're a little longer and they have kind of like three little fin like gills on the back of them. But same type of concept. They uh, feed on uh, other aquatic insects. They're predators, so they're down there hunting. So we'll put him back. And okay, so I'm leaving him out for a second and then I'm gonna drop him in and then he's gonna swim. See if he shows us how he swims. See? Swims just like a fish or a tadpole. Dragonflies, they swim like I was saying earlier with propulsion. So they kind of fill up with air and then they push, force it out real fast and then they kind of jet around, which is kind of cool. Oh man. Just like holding this toe biter up, I just like felt that pain in my finger again. I didn't even want to hold it on there. There it is, there's a toe biter. Usually alcohol is the best thing to take if you're gonna come get aquatic insects, but if you're gonna do dragonflies at the same time, you don't want alcohol, cause that's gonna, could possibly ruin the colors on the dragonflies, so. I mean, none of these insects I'm actually gonna keep for a collection. Cause this is kind of a research area, so I'm just putting them all back, so you can just dump them back. I'm just gonna let these guys go and Hopefully they don't bite anybody else. Good luck. At this point I'm gonna wrap up the episode. I will be making a continuation of this episode where I talk about collecting dragonflies, but I'm going to post that as a separate video which should pop up on this screen soon when it's available. As you could tell, that was a very painful moment for me with the toe biter. And I'd really like to know what one of your most painful moments with insects was. So please put that in the comments and make sure and subscribe to stay tuned next time for all things insects.